think I got touched her. Nothing beats some well-deserved sweet justice against bad people. In today's video, it's all about crazy exes, horrible boyfriends, and putrid partners that get themselves tangled up with cops. I'm sorry, sir. I know he's got it on his A girlfriend beater is convinced that laws don't apply to him, but that mindset is going to change soon enough. Cameron Hopkins, Fayetteville. North Carolina was shook by the grim news of what transpired in July, 2023. A 20-year-old Cameron Hopkins entered a Wingstop restaurant and had a gun in his possession. He coerced ex-girlfriend 19-year-old Kalia Jones to exit the establishment and go with him. It was a frightening and chilling sight for everyone who witnessed the scene. The police managed to speak to some of the witnesses who saw how everything unfolded. said something that was inaudible to me, and uh, she continued to do what she was supposed to be doing, I guess, waiting on everybody. And finally, uh, he appeared to be a little frustrated, and so what he did is he walked behind the counter. The lady, I'm assuming that was the manager, what are you doing, don't be go beyond this point. He proceeded to go in the back, uh, accosted her back toward the rear of the store grabbed her by the arm, and uh, walked her out of here with a weapon. Okay. When you walked out of the store, what did he, did you see anything outside the store? Say it again, officer. Did you see, when they left the store, did you see what type of vehicle they got in or anything like that? It appeared to be something on the order of a, of a Camaro type of okay. vehicle, red in color. Okay. All right. Would they, you... they had a little verbal altercation outside of the car. Where were they parked at? over there on the other side of that white car over by that building there. Okay. The vehicle was facing um, that way. And uh, he backed out, drove down a little bit into the parking lot, then turned around and then went out of the parking lot. Okay. Would you be willing to write a witness statement on what you witnessed? <laughs> if you want me to, man. Yeah, There's I, too much stuff going on. I know it's a lot going on, but if yeah. you don't mind, and th yeah. did you see him? Yeah, I was on yeah. the side. Um, I, I didn't see him walk around, but my dad did. And when I, I heard the commotion, the manager saying, you can't come behind here, what are you doing? Yeah. He accosted the young lady by the arm. He had uh, his gun on him. What color was it? You know what type of uh, firearm was it? Uh, it was tan. Tan? Tan handle. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to assume it's probably a nine millimeter. Okay. Or a Glock. Okay. Um, he uh, took her out, went over, uh, took her over there. Because we, at that point, my dad was out. I was worried about him. So I, you know, I rushed outside and I watched him. He marched her right over to the car, put her in the car. She, pro you know, she was protesting, but, you know, he had a weapon, so it wasn't a lot she was going to do. And um, took her in the car. Like he said, he drove over there, did a semicircle, and we went down that way. Manager, she she was already in the process of believe, calling. Hopkins was no stranger to crime. In September 2022, he was released on bond for a kidnapping incident involving Jones. Based on the witnesses' testimonies, the suspect forcefully entered the back of the restaurant, despite protests from the manager, and forced her out with a weapon in hand, possibly a 9mm handgun. Jones was protesting to her kidnapper as the staff called the police. Now, a high-speed car chase is on through, of which lasts through both Fayette and Clayton. Taking a left on McDonough Road. Twelve Mike, clear the pit. There's three four, you can. All right, we're coming up on McCurry Park speeds. Eighty. Speeds climbing to ninety-five. Over 100, about 105. Big down the road, coming up by Folsom Road. Hey, he's blacking out. Can I take you 
what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, boy, we're still on McDonough Road. Speed's at about 90, coming up to Chelsea Drive. Radio, have you contacted uh, Grayson County already? Based on the gradually increasing speed of Hopkins's car, there's the increased probability that an accident on the road could occur if he is not apprehended quick enough. The fuzz is not thinking of relaxing just yet, as seen by this dash cam footage of an officer attempting to catch up with the getaway vehicle. I'm gonna take the one I'm trying to get to. Yeah, boy, we're still on McDonough Road, speed's at about 90, coming up to Chelsea Drive. Radio, have you contacted uh, Grayson County already? He just hit a median. He's probably going to go flat here shortly. Twenty-one fifteen to 55, man, clear your phone. Luckily for the police, Hopkins made the mistake of turning right near a middle school, which gave the officer in this car an ample opportunity to ram into it and knock it sideways, effectively putting a stop to the getaway. Shortly after this, however, shots are fired from Hopkins' car, and already those on the scene quickly fear the worst. With backup armed and ready, the suspect is pressured to surrender from inside his vehicle. He's coming out. No, I got this mo up. He's coming up. Down him right there by the car. The, dr the passenger door. Climb out. Yeah, if he's gonna find out yeah. that's fine. Make him climb out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, I'm coming with the shield. Stand back. Hold on. Shield, shield. Shield. Back up, there ain't no point moving up on him. Call his ass down. Come out! Come out the car! Passenger looks deceased. Come out! Climb over. Come out! Climb out of the window! Get out! Climb out, out of the window! Come out the window! Climb out of the window! I know you heard that! She's deceased. She's, She's gone. gone. She's gone. Man, get out of the Car, man. Out. Yeah. Get, out get out of the car! Get out of the car! Then get crawl out! The out. Car. Crawl out! You want to move up on him? Crawl out! No, Negative! No, Negative! No. We got all but Come out of the car, out. man! Hey! We will, we but we need you car, out of the car! Man. Get out of the car, man! Get out of the car! Get out come of out. the car! Just come out of the car for us. Son, you gotta come, come out. out of the car, man. Crawl out. No, 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 man. Don't hey, one voice. For anything. One voice. You give voices. Come, come out, out of the car, man. Look, come out of the car, and we can help you, and we can help her. Keep your hands where I can see you. Step out. Step out. Keep your hands up and just step out. Come out. Look, man, come step out. out of the car so we can attend to her. Come get out. out. Car. Get out of the car so we can help her. Step out. There you go. Step out. Step out. On the ground. On the ground. Step on the out. ground. Step on the ground. Out, no, step get on the out. ground. Get on the ground. Get on the even from a distance, the police realize that Jones has been murdered by her ex-boyfriend with a gunshot wound to the head. The officers on the scene shout for Hopkins to get on the ground and crawl towards them. Using a non-lethal irritant to disorientate him, the cops arrest the kidnapper and put him in the back of a police cruiser. He is offered water to relieve the effects of said irritant. And that's when he starts asking where his former girlfriend is. Okay, so then you got no because the gun went off on her. Okay, okay. All right, we're not arguing with you, dude. All right, we're stick gonna your head hey, out. Stick your head out. We're gonna dump this on you so you can get some of that OC out of your eye. Turn this. Turn your head the other way. You want some more? You want more? Oh my. Where is she? Yes or no? Do you want more water? Can I use a moat? Yeah, I'll write one anyway. 
Where is she? She's in the car where you left her. The police were told by Hopkins that Jones shot herself in the head with his weapon, but they immediately dismissed such a claim. As a result of this cruel and grisly turn of events, Hopkins was charged with multiple crimes, including kidnapping, possession of a weapon, and murder. Doubletree Hotel. I ain't going to stop. Get in my pockets. Get in my pockets. Get in my pockets. Stop. 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 New Year's Day is a time for celebration and joy for many of us. That's far from what police found in a Doubletree Hotel located in the town of Brookhaven. In Atlanta, Georgia, however, they received a call of a physical disturbance occurring between a husband and wife on the very first day of 2023, during what was intended to be a holiday for the pair. Domestic at my location in room 302. He said sit. <laughs> I'll get my stuff. Stop. That's affirmative. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, <clears throat> stop. come here. Stop. Here. Stop. 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 What? You go to sleep. Stand and stop. Okay. Can you let her get her stuff so I can go back downstairs, please? It's difficult to hear the conversation taking place between this wife and husband, but the supposedly soft demeanor of the male suspect takes a much harsher and aggressive turn. Considering that the altercation between the two was starting to devolve into physical abuse, it's not surprising that she isn't phased by his attempts to persuade her to stay. After the woman continues to collect her belongings, he confronts the officer directly for being present. Thankfully, the cop stands her ground and refuses to leave the doorway. Go ahead, Jack. Um, you can raise the complaint and have me with me outside the quick trip. I'm on that door. Get your f in the hallway. Come, I'm not touching you. No, sir. You don't have, you don't have sir. no jurisdiction. Yes, I do. I'm, I'm here, here. sir. No, f her. I'm, I'm here no, I have with no her. Dana. What is wrong with you? I'm here with her. No, I have no yes, I do. You can stay. No, I'm not stable. touching her. I'm going to stay right no, here. You have no jurisdiction over here. Sir. You can wait. Sir. You can wait. Or you I'm can stay. Take me in. You can wait. Sir. Or you can take me I have no fucking. Sir. Sir. Stop it. Sir. I have no. Look. I have no. Back up or what? Get out of my room. Robert, this is my Robert, room. Robert, this Robert, is my room. Robert. 1736. This is my another unit. Robert, please. I don't, Dan, I, I really, it's my room. This room, what you doing? I have no, this is my room. Unit. I have no room. I have no room. She's not in danger. You're not in danger. This is my room. Sir. You can step the f right no, there. No, I'm going to stay right here. You don't have any, you don't have any jurisdiction Sir. here. Sir. You have no jurisdiction. I'm staying right you have here. No you have no jurisdiction. When she get her Why stuff. Why do you have jurisdiction? When she get Why her stuff. Why and get out. What you doing? What? This is what you're doing. I want to leave. Yes. I want to leave. Yes. I want to go. Yes. She's, make, she's making sure you don't hurt me. Really? Then yes. you think I'm going to hurt you? She just saw you grab me up. Look at my chest. Are you crazy? Donna, you think I'm going to hurt you? You can get the f out. You can back. You can get the Hold on. Stop. Don't run up on me. I'm not. Do I'm not run up on me. Get the out. Sir. The suspect claims to be a Marine Corps veteran, as if that gives him any authority to force the officer out of the room. No matter what excuses or attempts he makes to soften his voice and persuade his wife to stay, she is refusing to risk staying with him altogether. He can be seen blocking her escape on the body camera and starts to lash out on the environment. Can you stop blocking my you're way? You're doing this to me. You're doing this. Let her, us. let her by, please. You're doing this. Please let her by. I don't give a f You think I give a f You think I give a f about this? Really? You think I give a f about this? Huh? Jack on. Can I have a unit? Step it up, please. Take me where the fuck you want to take me. Check on six. Come on, are you telling us Copy that. Don't touch me. I'm sorry. Do not touch me. Okay. Do not touch me. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Uh, 
Green, where are you at? Alicia, the room 302. 302. I didn't mean it as offensive. I didn't mean it as directive. I didn't mean it as any kind of way. She can take whatever she wants. Do y'all live together? No. Are y'all married? Yes. Y'all are married? Yes. Okay. I'm going to wait till they get here and go back and talk to him. You got marks on your neck? Yes. Okay. Thank you. 1736, I'm coming downstairs. Yeah, you about to take care of it. You're gonna have too much damn whiskey and you can't handle it. Y'all drove down here? Yeah. With the wife safely escorted to safety, backup has arrived, and the officers return to the abusive husband's room to arrest him. Once again, he plays the innocent card, making it seem like the physical and verbal abuse either didn't happen or was something purely minor. He lashes out and becomes abusive once again during an inventory search. Hey, you have your ID with you? Mm -hmm. I need your ID for my police report. Uh, my name is Robert Bethune. I give you my name and my my name, and my social security number, but I'm not giving my name. Okay. So go ahead and put your hands behind your back. For what? You've been arrested for battery. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't put your hands behind your back for me. Okay. I my Put your hands behind your back. Stop! 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 I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do anything. Stop! Stop! Let me let me give you my name. Wait! Wait! I didn't battery stop, anybody. Stop, 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 stop. I didn't, I didn't do anything. Just, just don't move. Just don't I didn't, okay. But I didn't, I didn't touch anybody. I didn't hit anybody. I didn't battery. I didn't threaten anybody. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you a I'm question. I'm against the law, sir. Do not move. Let me ask, oh, could I ask the question? Okay, hold on. Could I ask a question? Hold on, hold on. Okay. When she's done, could I ask a question? What's the question? What what is the actual battery? Battery is what she has marks on her. I didn't from when you. You know I, I didn't you. touch her. I saw you. Let's go. No no you know I didn't touch her. Where's your ID at? I don't have like stuff. So let me like, get out of my pocket. Get out of my. Don't touch my pocket. You don't have authorization on my yes, pocket. Seventeen thirty six. I no, got one in custody. I didn't I didn't touch her pockets. I didn't go home. Stop. Get out of my pocket. Get out of my Stop. pockets. Get out of my pockets. Stop. Stop. No no I'm saying don't go in my pockets. I didn't do anything. Stop, sir. No, no, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Get out of my f pockets. I'm sorry. Get out of my f pockets. I don't have. I don't do anything. I'm a f 80 percent disabled veteran. What the f are you doing? Get out of my f pockets. I don't have no. F stop. Look, stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. No, no, no. I'm an 80 percent disabled veteran. What the f are you doing? I didn't f do anything to anybody. I didn't touch her. A statement is collected from the victim, alongside photos of the wounds inflicted upon her. Meanwhile, the husband is taken to the police car in handcuffs. Mr. Bethune. All right, come, come, come with me, sir. Sir? He is a ETO. Come with me. I just switch you to this car. Huh? Where am I going? 
We, we gotta go to this car right here so we can transport you, sir. I can help you all if you need. Isn't it ironic how this abusive husband didn't stop himself physically harming his wife, and yet he is angsty about being touched and searched? Truly hypocritical. Anyway, he was charged with battery, including against a police officer, alongside obstruction of law enforcement. He would continue his holiday residing in the not-so-pleasant accommodations offered by the DeKalb County Jail. Moises May A horrifying incident took place in August 2023 in Louisville, Kentucky. Calls flooded in after neighbors of a local residence reported to Louisville Metro police officers that a woman had opened a window and was crying for help. The officers arrive on the scene and attempt to find an entrance. Initially, there has been no luck so far with getting inside the house as the front door is barricaded from the inside. Meanwhile, the back door isn't nudging either. During the search for another entrance point, the officers notice a woman who appeared to be extremely distressed in a second-story window. Thankfully, a generous neighbor offers the police a ladder, which they use to climb into the second-story window. Is it my house in there? Well, for today, girl, I'll be he did what? Is he Hispanic? It is a disturbing sight. A woman was chained to the floor, which is wrapped and secured around her neck with a padlock. It goes without saying that she is petrified, but immensely relieved and grateful to be rescued. The chain is bolted to the floor, so officers use a hatchet to chop away at the chains and pry it out. The woman is rescued, and first responders immediately treat her wounds and help remove the padlock with a pair of bolt cutters. According to an arrest report, the suspect who trapped the woman in question was 36-year-old Moises May, who was said to have a child between them. For context, what happened was that a verbal argument became physical, whereby May allegedly cut off the majority of her hair with a machete and slapped her after grappling with the victim and pinning her down to the floor. While the woman did manage to leave after that incident, when she returned just under a week later in order to collect her belongings, May trapped her inside the room with a deadbolt and kept the only key on his possession, going so far as to threaten her with murder if she ever came back. She had clothes removed and was slapped before being chained to the floor after he left with his phone. Luckily, the woman was able to open up a window and scream to the neighbors for help where the police were called. As for May, he was arrested a day later with several charges including kidnapping, wanton endangerment, and assault, all the while being held on a $100,000 cash bond. Stalker ex-boyfriend. It's a frightening feeling when an old flame does not stop coming back for an ex-partner. Staff at a local restaurant in Whatcom, Washington ended up calling the police on a stalker back in May 2023. You're about to hear an excuse-filled, muddled-up story with contradictions aplenty, so be sure to pay close attention. Officers approached the suspect, who immediately began explaining his situation. Hi, Deputy Struble. Hey, trying to find so so these people they just called me a drug addict. Okay. In there. Okay. And I'm trying to I have it on my phone from my doctor, blood work, and they're trying to treat me for. ADHD. 
Okay, so Matt, real quick, just so you know, everything's being recorded today, all right? Yep. Um, so Bay Breeze does not want you back in the restaurant. You're a trespasser there, okay. okay? I'm not going in the restaurant. Okay, if you go in there again, you will be arrested for trespassing, okay? Well, that gal, Charlene and that gal need to stop calling me a drug addict. Okay. Because it's hurting me. Okay, so you need to stop emailing. Away. You need to stop emailing and leaving the messages, or I'm going to arrest you for stalking and harassment. Well, that's what they're harassment. That's what I want to charge them with. If they ever you're the one that keeps coming here, again. and you're the one that sends listen, emails. Listen, 15 years, that gal, the one in there was my girlfriend. I know. For for five kids, she didn't have a job a single moment. I left her, and then she, she, she was having a mental breakdown, and she had a holes in a hole in her body, and she was a sponge of alcohol, and I had to help her. I left her out of that. Like, she was going to freaking die. But anyhow, I needed a break at that time because it sounds... Un 42, three words directly across the street to the south. Immediately, the stalker mentions having ADHD and being treated for it while playing the victim and wanting the people calling him insults to be charged with harassment. Ironic, considering he's been sending multiple emails to the ex-girlfriend working at the nearby restaurant. Supposedly, she was in a rough state after he broke up with her, and so he wanted to check in on her. Okay, so why did you come here today? To get fries. You just, and I did get fries. Why didn't you go to the Shores or one of the other restaurants? Why do you have to go to where Charlene's working? Why not? Well, they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? You said they're harassing you. Why would you show up here? That makes no sense. They weren't harassing me. It was just Charlene. But her damn... Okay, she so she's stop. harassing you, but you show up here to get more. More harassment or more what? That's a relative. No, it's not a relative. It is. Until now, until they... Said so you until... drove here yeah. with no license... Yep. To get fries from her restaurant where she's working right now. That sounds like stalking to me. That's a felony crime. Stalking. Yes, stalking. Well, then she's the stalker. Because she's at her work and you showed up? Yep. No, of course not. Okay, so how is how is she stalking you? I'd like to know. Um, well, I have all of the documentation right here. So I lifted her out of eight years at that place. I left you had, guys had a lot of history there. I know. Um, we're dealing with what's going on right now. Okay. Because you guys are broken up. Well, Right? She pleaded me, said, Matt, I thought we were going to grow old together. I'll prove my love to you. Um, I won't neglect you anymore. I won't bring up the past. And I was relying on that just to be able to, like, just, just not be mean. Because I have not been able to heal for two years. And it's this shit. Like her employee saying I'm a drug at, saying I'm a drug, call me a druggie. Directly across the street, just to the south. On Beachcomber Drive. Okay. She's alienated me from this whole... F She's lied to the point that she can't f back out of it because it'll... She doesn't want to face that music. It's f but whatever. It's f but whatever. But it's f cruel. Because I go out of my way to help and she goes out of her way to f her. I would never even f do that to her. I didn't... I don't know what evidence you're looking for on your phone, but if you find it, why don't you show it to my partner? I'm going to go back and talk to Charlene, the manager, yeah. real quick, okay? And now the narrative has changed, whereby he apparently only went to the restaurant to get fries. On top of that, now it's the ex-girlfriend who is the alleged stalker, despite the fact that he's the one who came to the restaurant first, without a driver's license, too. The anger in his voice is prevalent here and his eye contact seems to quickly focus between the deputy and his phone or nearby paperwork. This could be a sign of stress or anxiety. Nonetheless, he is left with a second deputy on the scene while the first officer speaks to the victim inside the restaurant. So what's going on with you and Matt right now? Huh? What's going on with you and Matt right now? With me? Yeah, you and Matt. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I had him removed from my trailer and I yeah. kept telling him every day, leave me alone, leave yeah. me alone, I'm getting ready to move. Okay. And he's like, I just want to see you. I just want to be with you before you leave. Oh, okay. And I said, no, you're not welcome at my trailer anymore. Like, leave me alone. Okay. I said, I will see you the day I leave. And that's yeah. been not good. Okay. Are there any orders right now between you two? No? Okay. It would take me weeks to get in there and get one, and I'm leaving it in less than two weeks. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. so are you wanting to do anything about coming around. I'm sure trespassing from the restaurant. Right? Yeah, then he will not come around here. He doesn't know where I'm at. I'm in a hiding spot where he can't find me right now. Okay. And if he shows up there, they see his car there anyways, they will call the police no matter what. So he 
so far hasn't found me, and I've been out there for a while. Which is why it's quite desperate. Okay, remind me what your last name was again. Uh, okay, we'll get them trespassed from here. If you want to send me emails just so I have them, I'll start. I'll just start documenting right now in case it happens before you leave. Okay. Okay. Yeah. At least, at least we have the documentation started. Okay. Well, I have called the police because they tried to break into my trailer I don't. at the state park. Yeah. So and he went and trespassed me from there, yep. and he still showed up there in the middle of the night, and I had to call the police. According to the woman. This ex-boyfriend has been adamant with trying to approach her again, to the point where the staff are even instructed to call the police if his vehicle is spotted nearby. She even mentions how the suspect allegedly broke into her trailer in the past, so it's no wonder she's hoping to move out of the state and get away from him. While this conversation is going on, another is taking place with the suspect and the second officer. So I left her like two years ago, like three, from three years ago and it was gone for like a year and some gal chose me like a Pokemon or some shit so I dated someone else for a minute and she I guess in her head I cheated the whole time but she okay. pleaded me to come back she said I prove my love to you and I thought we are going to grow old together right blah 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 and I have needed to like she had, was having, she calls it a blackout mix and break, which I believe it may have been. Right. But when I needed a break, I had to deal with it. I dealt with that, put myself aside. Right. Then, I, like, my whole, And she's here at the restaurant? I've been able to heal. Were you guys here together, or you just came to talk to her? No. And yeah, she just needs to, she's played this lie to make it feel, seem like, I don't know exactly, she's a pathological, logical liar, for one. I've noticed that the whole time with her, she'd say, like, lie to her kids about where we went or something, when it's just completely unnecessary. It's right. like, why would you say that? And she just that does not, not answer. Okay. But, like, she literally called my, the other exes, the one that I was, the guy I was with, her, without even reading this girl, she calls her ex that she's going through a custody battle with, and calls her a meth head and all this shit that so like right. with her like kids and and life never even met her right and she posts of me a missing person report when I had a job for she never had a job for 15 years we were together and her five kids I don't have kids but right. I worked the whole damn time right you were and, the one doing all the work yeah we can't prove any of the claims said by this boyfriend so it's best to take it all with a pinch of salt. The second officer does not dispute any of this and remains polite and engaged in the conversation, likely to keep the suspect calm and stable. Shortly afterwards, the first officer emerges from the restaurant and gives a final warning. Yeah, yeah. Shot. I was like, shit. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mr. Ruff, here's the deal. You're trespassed from the restaurant. Do not go back in there. You'll be arrested, okay? Of course, I'm trespassed from this whole okay. town because Okay. The Asian store. Okay, and the, I'm not finished. The lady at the Asian store, or not the Asian store, the Asian lady at the Birch Bay Park store, when me and her were staying at Beachwood, she told the people that worked there that I was, that I stole some, this basket thing from out in Dumpster, and I didn't realize that she told them this, because I was in there getting harassed all the time. They were asking me if I knew about stolen stuff. Well, and it, 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 does, like, it has nothing to do with today. Like, Nothing more, to do with today. It felt more. It does. Anastasia is forwarding me the emails you've been it sending to her. To if you continue to email Anastasia and call the restaurant, I'm going to arrest you for harassment. Who's Anastasia? The manager at the bar. She's forwarding all the emails. So if you continue to harass the bar, you're going to get arrested for harassment. Is that clear? Okay. If you ever call me a, a drug addict again... You can file a defamation of character suit in, down in district okay, court. Okay. What do I have to do to... I'm not a civil lawyer. I don't know. Get a lawyer. Go file a defamation of character suit. Okay. What about the text or whatever? What text? The text that Charlene sends me. Block her. No. She made it very clear that she wants nothing to do with okay. you. Is she, That's why she's okay. in hiding and you don't know where she lives. Harassment. Because it's a weapon. Okay. Don't care. She's a weaponized if you continue showing up where Char is at, I'm going to arrest you for stalking. It's a felony crime. Is that clear? My doctors would say otherwise. Okay. I'm sorry you're going through those difficulties. She wants nothing to do with you. Well, she does, unfortunately. She wants to hurt me. No, she, she doesn't. Has. Block yeah, she her does. and yeah, move does. on. Yeah, she does. Block her and move on. Not worth it, man.
Before the conversation between the officer and the suspect is dropped, he shows a text as supposed proof that she is hurling abusive towards him. Except, the officer is not stupid and actually notices when the message was sent. You're lucky she doesn't want to press charges or you'd be going to jail today. Okay. Um. Do you have something pertinent or you just thumbing through your phone? No, I'm trying to get somewhere, but it's hard for me, man. Okay. okay. Do you have somebody you can call with a license who can get a trip permit for this car and get you out of here? Because your car hasn't been registered in three years. Yes. It's just weird to think that after you pull someone out of... You're having to scroll a long Dark way, which means me, leads me to believe that this isn't something current that you're trying to dig up here. It is. I know you guys have a lot of past. A lot of bad past. I know. I was there for a lot of it. What is this? I, I don't know. What is it? I can't see. I don't know. That's from her. No charges were made, and the officers leave without further incident. Nevertheless, before doing so, it is made especially clear that he has been trespassing and could face charges for harassment and stalking if he returns to the restaurant again. Jealous Boyfriend We have an address. So... In late June 2022, the sound of gunshots within an apartment building shattered what would have been another peaceful night in Chambly, Georgia. When officers arrived on the scene, a witness shared some important details on things. So it's a young couple, they're fighting. This is his car here, the Mercedes right here. Okay. They live on that third floor right there. He shot his gun five times. I know, I, I don't know what guns really sound like, but I saw something that looks like a gun in his hand, and it sounded like a firework, like cheap firework. Okay. And he shot it five times, and he, him and his girlfriend started fighting downstairs first, then he pushed her back in the car, they went up, he parked, he pushed her back on the floor here, and then they went upstairs. All the way up. And which apartment is it? I can't tell which apartment it is, but it's definitely not the first one on the left, because I can see that door from, my, from inside my apartment. So it's one of those three ones. And where did he find a gun at? Of when he was first up there? one was right here against this truck. He pushed her against this truck and he fired it first time. Then he went up, he pushed her against the door of that first neighbor on the left and he fired it second time. Then when I was on the phone with the dispatcher, he shot it three more times. Okay. So when with the female, did he force her upstairs with him? Or I wouldn't did... say force her, she's drunk. I think she leaves here because in the conversation... In the conversation, it was something about her sister being there. So yeah. there's at least one female and possibly two. So her and her sister. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you get, Gisi, can you get her info? Uh, she she doesn't know exactly. She knows it's the top. You said the Mercedes is his, though? It's Mercedes. Okay. According to the witness, a suspect was arguing with her girlfriend at the bottom of their apartment. Both were said to be drunk. A total of five gunshots were reported to have one off. The officers make their way up a set of stairs before meeting another witness who mentioned someone above his floor stomping. After traversing more stairs, they make an interesting discovery outside of one of the rooms. Shell casings from a handgun. After knocking on the door, the tipsy female suspect answers the door and is asked to step out to explain what transpired. Where's your boyfriend? We, we it's fine. Oh, I just your, I got a little out of hand and we came out of somewhere and he was talking to some that I was not okay with and I got a little bit outrageous. My pants isn't even you know, on. I'm sorry. Man, where's your boyfriend at inside the party? I we was right here by the front, honestly, and where inside is he at? We're fine right now. We're just Step over there. Ow, ow. Step over there. Hey, if anybody's in there, come outside. He's step over there. Step, step Baby, back. Baby, come outside. Step back. 
Step out. Step over here. Step out. We don't have a pants or nothing. Like, don't Don't be. Don't be. I'm fine. Yo, tell them to chill out. Okay, I will. Stop moving. I'm not moving. Leave it on. I'm not moving. Leave it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. Leave it on. Put your hand behind your back. Okay. Not, 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 Stop moving around, bro. Chill. Stay right here. I'm trying. Stay I'm, like that. I'm asking you, so I'm I'm good. Go ahead. Go ahead. You secure Yes. You got it down. Yeah, yes. you got it down. What's right. going on? We should be in the team for now, all right? For what? We're trying to figure it out. Right. I'll let you know when we get downstairs, all right? Can I, yo, can I come downstairs, please? Keep I'm, walking. Okay, you all push the front stairs, like... Sir, sir. Stop, 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 stop moving around. Because I'm walking down the stairs. I'm, I'm trying to relax with my hands. It's interesting to note how the girlfriend downplayed the events as a minor argument between the two, allegedly sparked due to a jealousy fueled quarrel over her heading out to go drinking. When the officers enter, the suspect is apprehended and arrested before being taken downstairs to the police cruiser. The women had scratches and bruises on her, though she claims that was due to working at a bar and martial arts training. In any case, the officers searched the apartment for any other evidence. Somewhere. Protective suite. No, we're great. We're great. I got another room. Okay. Parents on us. Go. Say AK right here. Pistol grip. Anything we got is under who, our name. Who, who else is here? There was somebody else shot firing shots over who, here. Who else is here? Just us. Just you two? Get Just her get two. her out of here, please. Right. Yeah, this um we need to check. Yeah, there's multiple out in this direction. This windows are both shattered. That's the last spot to clear right there. We got multiple um, multiple rounds through that window. Clear there. Got one right here too. Make sure that's clear in there, please. Where? In here. This. 
Let's show this how we got. Okay, got multiple exits through that back. Numerous bullet holes were discovered in the apartment. Discharging a weapon inside a building containing many residents is, obviously, an extremely dangerous and stupid thing to do. This suspect clearly didn't seem to either consider the danger he was putting himself or others in, or perhaps didn't care. Speaking of which, the disgruntled boyfriend is subjected to a search, whereby officers discover various illegal substances in his inventory. What you got in your pockets? Same thing, money. Like you don't mind if I take everything out? Oh, I don't. Huh? All right, I'm gonna. Oh, oh, I don't want to. You don't mind if I take everything out? No, I don't. I just. I'm gonna pull your pants over. Just pay. Take everything out. You have it, right? Your inhaler? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. That's what you need. Why am I getting pain? Huh? Why am I getting these pain with? Have a seat and I'll explain, okay? Excuse me? Have a seat and I'll explain it to you. Have a seat. I'm just thinking explain it to me. I'm going to explain it to you once you have a seat inside. I'm saying. Your whole body inside the car. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. Okay? I'm so, sorry. I'm talking to you. What's your name? Jordan. Jordan? Yes, sir. Jordan, the reason why you're being detained is because we got a call from a person shooting. Okay. okay, that's it. Match the description. Um, we also got other complaints of of where you where you were staying at. There's a a noise complaint. You reach up to your uh, apartment. There's cases in the in the area. Okay. okay. Let it figure it out. And you're just being detained. You're not being under arrest. Okay. All right. What's going on with her? I don't know. Other officers talking to her. Okay. Just have a seat. Okay. Relax. Like, <laughs> What you want? Okay, so I'm not being detained or arrested. Can I the handcuffs like loosen or not? On my they wrist. are loosen, bro. Look, they're going up and down your wrist. It, it doesn't. It doesn't feel good. Like you're not meant to be feel. They're not meant for comfort. Okay. I I understand that. I'm just. The unnamed male suspect must have thought discharging a weapon made him feel like a big man. Alas. This supposed tough guy found himself littered with charges, most of which include battery, second-degree criminal damage to property, possession of controlled substances with intent to distribute, possession of a firearm, and two controlled substances during the commission of a felony and reckless conduct. He was swiftly transported to the local county jail. These jealous boyfriends, husbands, and partners were out of line and control. Thank goodness, the cops managed to get them all. Which of these clips were the most intense watch for you? Be sure to tell us all about your thoughts in the comments. Also, please consider supporting the channel by liking the video, subscribing for more content, and having a peek at the videos on screen now. Until next time, stay safe, and watch out for those crazy partners out there.